Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a crucial question for MySQL users. How do you choose which slave to promote as the new master during a failover? Our viewer, a MySQL newbie, is eager to understand this process, especially when dealing with asynchronous replication. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. When considering MySQL failover, the first step is to identify which slave should be promoted to the new master. In our example, we have a master A and two slaves, B and C. In a scenario where A crashes and B has received more data than C, it might seem logical to promote B. However, we need to evaluate the replication lag and data consistency. To determine which slave to promote, you can use the command show slave status on both slaves. This will provide information on the replication state and the last executed transaction. If B is ahead in terms of data and has no replication errors, it is the best candidate for promotion. If you promote C instead, B will not truncate its data. It will continue to replicate from C. In summary, always assess the replication status and data integrity before promoting a slave to master. This ensures minimal data loss and maintains system stability. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To choose a new master in MySQL failover, you can set up a master slave architecture using either traditional log file replication or the newer GTIDs method. If you opt for GTIDs, the MySQL failover utility can help manage failover. The MySQL failover utility has three modes, auto, elect, and fail. In auto mode, it selects a preferred slave as the new master. If none are available, it picks another slave and synchronizes changes. In elect mode, if no preferred slaves are available, it simply returns an error. In fail mode, it monitors the database without performing any failover actions. For traditional replication, you'll need to create your own scripts for management. More details can be found in the MySQL documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. choose the best slave as the new master in MySQL failover, check the relay master log file and exec master log pause values in show slave status. The slave with the highest values is preferred. If you're not using GTID, first sync the other slaves with the chosen master by downloading and replaying the relay logs. Once they're in sync, use change master 2 with the last bin log details. With GTI, the process is simpler. Just use change master two with master auto position set to one. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. 
If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.